Jody with Dog Bless, and we got all of our dogs here, and we're back at our favorite vet. And um, we are going to talk today about things you can have your dog do while you're talking to your vet about things going on with your dogs and to decrease their stress. Right. Um, so what do we tend to do with Olaf if he Olaf, I, Olaf, I just tell him to touch nose, touch paw, yes! <laughs> Good job. And Pepper, she does a good hand touch. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. She also used to shake when she was younger. Studies show, though, if your dog is stressed and you tell them something else to do with the vet besides no, stop it, which means nothing to them, you want to tell them something else to do that will put their mind elsewhere and take that that stress energy and put it into doing something like Eli's got his hand in Paula's chin. So I taught Eli to do this. So he puts his hand his head in my chin and he holds it there and as long as he's comfortable, I know he's comfortable because his head's in my chin. His head is in my hand. His chin's in my hand. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so he's comfortable. So if, when we go to the chiropractor and I'm doing acupuncture, this is what I do. I just hold he put and it's sitting there. I'm not holding his head. His head is full weighted in my hand. Nice. So then you got uncomfortable or you thought it's time for a treat. So we, this is how we just teach it to him. But so I know when we're at the vet, if he gets uncomfortable, he takes his head out of my hand and will look back at the vet. And then that's kind of the vet sign that she needs to back off from what she's doing to make sure Eli's back comfortable with um, what she's doing back there and his back end or his back. Because he has a lot of back pain. So I love that trick. Yeah, you know, if you can make it easier for them in the long run, you know, then they, they won't be as afraid to come back. And we can do all the wonderful things like acupuncture. And, and it isn't big, bad, and scary. You're, you're making it like a happy, yay, positive, Eli, good job. <laughs> yeah. but, but it's just like us saying, take a deep breath. It gives them something else to do with that energy. I think that's really important. We, we tell them what to do and make it as happy as possible. Olaf's, Olaf's yeah. over here offering any behavior he can now because yes. he knows we have treats. We want fear-free vet visits so that the dogs will come to the vet and get the care they need to live a long, happy, healthy life. Yes.